Multitasking on the iPad is a complete shamble. You can't see the dock, except when you can. There are split views, slide over views, and resizable views. It's all facilitated by motions that casual users are unable to decipher. Although iPad OS 16 doesn't address this problem, the new multitasking option it adds does. It is called Stage Manager. So, we'll be discussing the iPad OS 16 Stage Manager multitasking desk setup today. What is Stage Manager? A whole new multitasking experience called Stage Manager dynamically arranges windows and programs to make switching between activities fast and simple. Users may now drag and drop windows from the side or launch applications from the dock to combine apps for quicker, more flexible multitasking on the iPad. They can even construct overlapping windows of various sizes in a single view. The program window users are now using is prominently shown in the middle, while other open applications and windows are organized on the left side in order of most recently used. According to Craig Federici, Apple's Senior Vice President of Software Engineering, with Stage Manager, which takes multitasking on iPad to a whole new level, plus new ways to share and collaborate via messages, Safari, and the new Freeform app, and new pro features like Reference Mode and Display Zoom. Users can get even more done on an iPad. You are also not prevented to use the Stage Manager to an external display because no mechanism restricts you. We will talk about this later in the video, so stay with us. How to use Stage Manager Number 1. Activate Stage Manager To boost iPad multitasking, you must manually activate Stage Manager. To do this, you should unlock your iPad. To activate Control Center, click the battery symbol in the upper right corner of the home screen. Click the new Stage Manager icon that appears at the bottom of the Control Center. This is the icon that Apple uses in its numerous support materials. It seems to be a rectangle with three smaller squares on the right side. Finally is the Exit Control Center. Once enabled, a new area will appear on the left side of your screen. Number 2. Turn off recent apps and dock. It's a good addition to be able to rapidly switch between applications without having to use the standard approach of swiping up from the dock. It's especially useful if you have many sets of applications and want to smoothly transition between them. To do this, unlock your iPad. Then click the battery symbol in the upper right corner of the home screen. Long press the Stage Center icon in Control Center. After that, tap the option on the left to disable recent apps. Now to turn off the dock, tap the toggle at the bottom. Number 3. Resize Apps To resize apps, look for a grab icon in the bottom right corner of the app's UI and hold this button down. Moving your finger around the screen will resize the window. You may also resize windows differently if you use the iPad with a mouse or the magic trackpad. Simply point to one of the app's four borders or corners. Then, resize the window to your liking by moving the cursor around. When you expand the app window, the other apps in the group will move to make room. When you let go of the window, the windows will overlap if required. Number 4. How to Group Apps First and foremost, launch the first app you wish to utilize. For recent apps, move the pointer to the left, and for the dock, move it to the bottom. Drag the application to the main screen, and there you have it. You've used Stage Manager to establish an app group. The applications will stay grouped until one of them is removed. This also implies that, in addition to the standard Recent Applications overview, they will be available through Stage Manager's Recent Apps menu. Number 5. Add an app to a group. There are two methods to add another app to your group in Stage Manager. When Stage Manager is activated, the iPad multitasking menu that debuted with iPad OS 15 is converted into one with new organizing buttons. So, you launch the first app that you wish to utilize. Tap the three horizontal dots at the top of the screen. Tap the middle option in the menu that opens. Another way to add an app to a group is to simply drag and drop it from the dock or recent apps menu. Number 6. Enable Display Zoom Apple has now given a third option for users who wish to maximize their screen real estate. Previously, iPadOS could only be standard or zoomed, but this new third option makes it much simpler to have numerous windows on the screen. 
To begin, open the Settings app on your iPad. In the left sidebar, choose Display and Brightness. Tap Display Zoom in the Display section. Choose more space from the drop-down menu. Number 7. Remove Apps and App Windows. Here you open the app group you wish to modify. Click or press on the program you wish to uninstall. Tap the three horizontal dots at the top. Tap the leftmost box in the menu that displays. You may also remove an app from the group while moving it to the Recent Apps list in Stage Manager. Simply tap and hold the app while swiping it to the left of your screen until the Recent Apps list displays. The app will then be deleted from the group while being added to the Recent Apps, Stage Manager, and External Displays. You may be interested in knowing whether there is a mechanism to restrict the usage of Stage Manager to external monitor connections. That's a resounding yes, of course. And here's how to go about it. 1. Make sure there is no external display attached to your iPad. 2. Get your iPad's control center open. 3. Deactivate Stage Manager. 4. Connect your iPad to a display outside of it. Stage Manager will stay in non-Stage Manager mode on your iPad even after the display has been detected and you are allowed to utilize it on the external monitor. Given that the iPad OS allows you to adjust your display in several different ways, multitasking on the device will undoubtedly be easier from now on. It is regrettable that not all iPads will support iPad OS 16. Watch our video on how to know if your iPad will support iPad OS 16. iPad OS 16 supported devices to find out whether your iPad is compatible with iPad OS.